Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to send Slack message for closed one opportunities in Salesforce. In this video we will learn how to integrate these two applications in such a way that whenever an opportunity is updated to closed one in Salesforce then in Slack channel a message will be sent. So we are going to create this automation with the help of Pabli Connect where our trigger will be opportunity updated in Salesforce and our action will be to send channel message in Slack. Let us learn how to do that. So let us learn that whenever an opportunity in Salesforce is updated to the stage of closed one, then we can send a message on our Slack. Like here you can see that the Salesforce opportunity within this name and this customer name has been updated to which stage closed one. So we can send this message automatically whenever this stage is updated. Let us quickly sign in into our account so that we will reach this place where I can see all the applications provided by Pabli. Now reaching here, you will see Pabli Connect. We are going to use this to create the automation. Click on Access now. That will take you to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Reaching here, you will see a big blue button on your right side where it's written Create Workflow. Click on the button and give a suitable name to your workflow. I'm going to name it as Send Slack messages for closed one opportunity in Salesforce. Click on Create and then a blank workflow will be created for you like you can see on your screen. You will be able to see the two major modules of Pabli Connect on which the whole automation works. Before that, I would like to remind you to open your Salesforce account and also your Slack account from where you want to change the stage of the opportunity and also to send messages in Slack. The reason of opening both of these accounts is, first of all, you have to connect both of them to Pabli Connect which will make it easier and then you can cross check whatever activity you're going to perform. So trigger says when this happens and action says do this, which means that trigger is going to be the first application where the event will take place manually, which means we are going to make the change, which is going to trigger the workflow and making the action application perform the assigned action over here. So the trigger application here is going to be Salesforce because the change in opportunity will take place in our Salesforce only. The event will be opportunity updated. So you can read what is given under it. It says triggers when an existing opportunity is updated. So here you can see that I have one already created opportunity of export goods and this is the name of the customer and all the details. What is the stage? Negotiation and review is going on. So we are going to change this stage once we create the trigger for this workflow. First of all, connect your Salesforce account with Pabli Connect. This connection is made to understand that whenever any change is made over here, it will be sent to this workflow as a response. Click on connect with Salesforce and just allow Pabli Connect to get access. The accounts are connected and now you have to click on save and send test request. But when you click on save and send test request, make sure that you have to come here and change this stage of our opportunity right here. So click on edit and here you're going to change it to closed one. Okay, save. Now this is saved. Come back, click on save and send test request and you will receive a response. See, here is the response. Now, existing customer upgrade it is. The stage has been changed to closed one over here and the name is export good. So you can see that this was the opportunity changed close date from this to this. Okay, so this opportunity has been updated. Now, once this is done, you have received all the details. But one thing that I want you all to notice over here, I will show you by editing the opportunity here. When you open this drop down menu, you see there are so many opportunities given to us in Salesforce. What if the opportunity was changed from value proposition to decision maker or from perception analysis to proposal? So then this workflow is not going to work for those change in opportunities because we are going to work only for closed one opportunities, right? So that is the reason I wanted to show you that we will be needing a filter over here, which will make sure that only and only the opportunities whose stage has been changed to closed one will be able to send message to Slack. So here in the next step, we will put a filter. Now this filter is by Pabli only and it says continue only if this given situation is satisfied. So the situation given over here is select a response from your Salesforce responses. These are the responses and this is the stage name. So the stage name in our response is closed one. Whatever is going to be the change in the stage will appear over here. So this stage name should be equal to closed one. Okay, why? Because only the closed one opportunities are supposed to be sent to Slack. Click on save and send test request. And here see the condition over here is true, which means the opportunity we right now dealt with is correct. It is changed to closed one. And that is why the message for this specific opportunity in our trigger application will be forwarded to Slack as a message notification. Click on this plus button and then type over here Slack as your last action application. The event over here is going to be send channel message. 
click on connect and now we are connecting so that the information we have received from our trigger and filter in our Pabli Connect workflow will be sent safely to our Slack channel. Add new connection, connect with Slack. Now you will be needing to enter a user or bot over here. To understand it better, click on this here link and here you will find the differentiation of user and bot. If you enter user over here in the token type, then you will be able to perform these activities. And if you enter bot, then you will be able to do these. So we want to send a channel message without image, which means it is very easy and simple to understand that we are going to enter over here bot. Click on save and just allow access to public connect. Now, once this is done, the connection is successful. Now you have to choose a channel first of all, where you want to send the messages. This is an already sent message. Let us choose a channel where you have no other message to be confused. Now, real time test is a channel where you do not have any other message. So it will be easy for you to notice that we were able to send a message over here. So let us go back over here. And what was the name of our channel? Real time test. So search for real time test over here. Or you can also type in this search bar real time test see this is the name of the channel now type the message over here this is to inform you all that the salesforce opportunity named now you can map the data now what is mapping mapping is basically using the data from your previous step to fill in the details of your next or action application so why do we do that because the opportunity is not going to be the same Next time the type will be different, the stage name might be different or the name or the phone inquiry, anything can be different. So we map the information that every time a new type of information is entered and new response is received in your trigger application, then it will change automatically. It will be dynamic and not static one. So here the name of our opportunity over here is this. Okay. Has been upgraded to the stage and what is the stage? Closed one. This is the message and I have written regards over here. Now nothing else to be done. This is a message. You can customize it according to your own need and requirement. What all details you want to put over here, you can do that. Now once all of this is done, click on save and send test request and then the message will be sent to our Slack channel. See, first of all, check for any errors. Nowhere error is written, which means our workflow has been perfectly correct. Now close this window. And see this is the workflow and let us go to our slack channel and see yes Pabli connect sent this message that hello members this is to inform you that the salesforce opportunity named name of the opportunity has been upgraded to the name of the stage regards you can customize this message according to you which means that every time a new opportunity will be updated to what to closed one then this filter will allow to send a message in slack about this specific notification this was the whole workflow i hope this helped not just these applications, but you can integrate many other applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any issue regarding Pabli, you can email us at support at pabli.com. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any doubts regarding our pricing, then you can connect us through this given website. If you found this video helpful in any way, then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations. We will meet in the next video. Till then, do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.